Welcome back to Pivotal Blades. Stick around a moment. Have a drink. Get a little coffee here. Mmm. Actually, that's chai. However, I am pleased to introduce to y'all today the new breed EDC. Clydesdale. This is how it comes in the box. This is not an unboxing so because I have unboxed it. I have used it and carried it. And I will tell you if I enjoyed it or not. Open the box. Handwritten note from Loot 10 itself. Thank you for the support. Watch your fingers. And you will. It's sharp. His mother made these new breed EDC. That's just nice. It's nice to see that, you know, he has family that's getting involved. When you get a little card. This one tells me it's from New Breed EDC. It is the Clydesdale. It is 153 of 200. All the rest I'll tell you later. And he signs it Mark. Very, very nice. Now I have repackaged this for y'all. I didn't do as good a job as he does. Comes in a nice bag. It was open because he QCs every one of these personally. And then you have another little bag with an extra back spacer for this side in case you swap your clip around. <clears throat> with that being out of the way, what you have here is a titanium handle. Length is going to be about 4.3 inches of titanium. This is your so shot side, unless you decide to take your titanium clip here and flip it to the other side. Insert that extra little cover that he's added with it. This is a very nice clip. Said it is black titanium. Let's see if you can get a better picture of it this way. Has nice retention. As some of y'all already know, I wear thick Carhartt pants, and this clip works really well with those. You do have a front flipper design, jimping all the way down this spine. Ho, ho, ho. Did you hear it? Oh. If you could only feel it, that, I mean, it is just. It, it is tuned so fine that you think that the detent would be too loose. However, it is not. You can shake the hell out of this thing. It will not open. But once it breaks that detent, it is just there. Look at that with all my fingerprints. Well, because, oh yeah, that's right. I use them. If you like videos with someone that uses a knife, Hey, like, subscribe, we're going to have more. So what we have here is an overall length of about 7.625 inches. This blade length is going to be about 3.3 with the handle being about 4.3, roughly. You're going to have blade still a 14C28N. And as you can see, it is a beautiful modified worn cliff. It is hollow grind. Mm, it is just beautiful you get a premium handle material of titanium and then a budget steel blade material to come in to give you actually a budget knife i mean oh, well it's not a budget knife it is uh friendly on your pocketbook but it is a wonderful you have a feel of a premium knife here he had it oem by kubi if i'm not mistaken and it is just phenomenal that black titanium hardware and then the steel liner. You can see the lock up here. Once again, you have this jumping. So when your hand goes there, you have big hands and fat fingers. I mean, it just, it is wonderful to see someone that brings that much jumping with it. You have a divot here that is perfect for your finger to get up and do those utility cuts. He did a phenomenal job first time out of the bat let's thank him go over there to newbreededc.com see if he might have one or two left 
He may, he may not. However, I think they're going for about 125 at the time of this video. If you want to go pick you up one. If not, follow him on uh, YouTube, Luke10.tex, or Instagram at Luke10.tex. Uh, new breed, EDC. They're up and coming. He's the man. Watch him videos. See what he has in the works. Anyway, thank you for watching my introduction of this beautiful knife. Thank him so much for what he has done for the community from sharing this knife with us and his designs. Like, subscribe, tell your family, tell your friends, tell everybody. But as always, have one hell of a day.